Hi, yogis. So nice to have you. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Maria, and I'm so excited to be able to offer classes online here on YouTube. So thank you again so much for tuning in. Today we're going to do a class that is um, going to be like an end of the day post-work class. You know, we all kind of deal with everyday stress and running around um, of being at work. And so it's really nice to kind of wind down with some movement, um, some things and breath to help you kind of get ready to wrap up your day and sleep really well. So good news is that we don't need a ton for this sequence. If you have a yoga mat, awesome, lay that down. If not, totally don't need one. And you can just find a space in your living room or at the gym or maybe you're outside and enjoying a park. Just find enough space that you can lay down your body full length. And then we'll also be using, if you have a yoga block, definitely grab one of these and we'll use this during the class. If you don't have a yoga block, no big deal. You can use, what I find is really nice instead of a yoga block is a really thick book. Um, this is all of Jack London's books and has a really cool wolf photo on it. You can use something like this in lieu of a block for your hand um, when we get to that part in the sequence. That's all you need. Also, if you, if you want to grab water or towel, definitely have those things handy as well. Otherwise, let's get started. So place your block in the middle of your mat, just on the lowest setting. And if you have two blocks and you want to stack two, that's fine too. We're just going to find a comfortable seat on the block. So you'll bring the hips to the block and then you can take Sukhasana, which is crossing at the ankles and letting the knees open. I like to take Siddhasana, which is stacking one heel in front of the other. And then the hands can come to the thighs right away. Just close the eyes. Feel your hips pressing into your block or your book and just find a nice posture here, a comfortable seat and let yourself drop into and fully arrive to the space that you've created in your home or at the gym or wherever else you've set up your yoga space. And right away, try to let the outside world begin to fade away so that you're able to be fully present with yourself on the mat, fully present with the breath, just allowing any stress or effort that it took to get to this moment fade into the background, knowing that these next few minutes or moments moving are for you and your body and for your well-being. And then with that, just gently, without changing it at all, take your attention to the breath. Just noticing and making a mental note about its quality today. No need to try to change it or judge it or fix it or wonder why it's one way or the other, just noticing. And then wherever you are in the breath, exhale everything out. Together we'll breathe and fill up the belly, fill up the chest. This time open the mouth, exhale everything out. <sighs> but this time we'll seal the lips, breathe and same thing, fill up the belly, fill up the chest. Keep the lips sealed and exhale through the nose Activating a little ujjayi breath here. Just helping us build a little bit of heat, keeping the body temperature regulated. Breathe in. Breathe out, letting the breath drag against the back of the throat. One more time here, breathe in. Breathe out, same quality as the open mouth exhale. Good. And then you can gently flutter the eyes open letting light enter back into the pupils and then we'll just let the left ear fall to the left shoulder and you'll let the chin drop down and take the forehead down rolling the head until the right ear finds the right shoulder nice and then we'll just take it the opposite way letting the chin drop down once again until you've ended where you started bring the head up back to center on your next inhale, float the arms up. On the exhale, right hand comes to the mat, left arm reaches up, turn the chest up towards the ceiling. Maybe the gaze goes towards the left as well. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, both arms float up. Exhale, we'll take the other side. Left hand comes to the mat, take the gaze over to the right. Breathe in, kind of 
touch the belly here a bit, breathe out, inhale, both arms come up, exhale, hands come to the mat, come onto the knees, you can move the block to the side for now. And then find the 90 degree angles in the body. So the shoulders stack over the wrists, the uh, hips stack over the knees. And we're just take some regular cat cows here on the breath and let the low belly drop down. The chest lift, look forward and up. Exhale, press into the hands, round the spine, take the gaze inward and toward the navel. Breathe in, drop the belly, chest lift, look up, cow pose. Exhale, use the belly to round the spine, gaze palms to the navel for cat. One more time, breathe in, drop the belly, look up. Breathe out, round the spine, take the gaze to the navel. Inhale, come back to neutral, we'll flip the palms around. So the fingertips can turn all the way towards the knees here. Both hands will turn out, or if that's too much on the wrist, you can take the fingertips to the sides of the mat, wherever you are, put a little micro bend in the elbows, just to um, help our elbows here, and then breathe in, take the belly down, chest goes forward, look up. Exhale, round the spine, take the gaze to the navel. Two more times, breathe in, belly drops, look up. Breathe out, cat pose, feel the upper part of the back puff up. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out. And then come back to neutral, take the fingertips forward. Take the knees about an inch or two wider than they are now. Take the seat to the heels for child's pose. Forehead comes to the mat, the fingertips reach forward. You can also place a block under the forehead if that feels nicer for you this evening. And then you might rock the forehead side to side, just giving yourself a little massage. If you have a headache after today, this might feel really nice. Yeah, great. And then come back to hands and knees, pressing into the hands, bringing the knees back underneath the hips. We'll tuck the toes and then take the hips up and back for your first downward facing dog. And then you can bend each knee, alternating weight here to open up the backs of the legs. Yeah. And then breathe and roll forward to a plank pose. Stack the shoulders over the wrist, look forward. Breathe out, bend the knees, take the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Breathe and roll forward to plank pose, stacking the shoulders over the wrist. Look forward, exhale, lower the knees, arch the back, lower the chest and the chin. Inhale, slide through for cobra pose, the head and the chest lift, elbows pull back. Exhale, lower the forehead back to the mat. This time we're taking our fingertips off the mat, out to the side, the elbows point up to the sky or the ceiling. Squeeze the legs together, the tops of the feet press, breathe in, peel the head and the chest off the mat or the floor, any amount. Exhale, reach the chest forward and lower the forehead back to the mat. Two more times like this. Breathe in, peel up, head and chest lift. Exhale, reach forward and all the way down, forehead to the mat. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out. So nice, and then the hands come back underneath the armpits, tuck the toes, press into the hands to take the seat back to the heels, and then press back up into downward facing dog. So nice, you guys. And then breathe in, right leg lifts. Breathe out, bend the knee, open the hip. Keep pressing that right hand into the mat to keep the shoulders and the chest square. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, straighten out the legs, square off the hip. Exhale, take the knee in towards the nose and then step the foot between the hands. From here, breathe in, let the left knee drop down, chest lift, look forward. Exhale, extend both legs and fold. Let the head fall heavy, right hip pulls back and towards the midline. Taking this two more times, breathe in. Right knee bends, left knee taps to the ground. Chest lift, look up. Exhale, extend both legs and fold. One more time, breathe in. Both knees bend, chest lift, look up. Exhale, extend both legs and fold. Breathe in, find your low lunge, look forward. Breathe out, plant the hands. Inhale, step to plank pose. Exhale, lower the left knee down underneath the left hip. That chin might point out to the side and then seal the right heel to the mat. Breathe in, left hand presses down, right arm reaches up. Exhale, take the right hand forward and then turn the pinky finger down so the palm of the hand faces towards the mat or the floor. And then we're gonna start taking circles here. So take the hand down, back and up. Two more times, forward, down, back, and up, one more time, forward, down, back, and up. Inhale, hand comes forward and down, step
up to plank pose on your inhale. Exhale, hips go up and back or downward facing dog. Taking the other side, breathe in, left leg lifts. Breathe out, bend the knee, open the hip, take a big breath in. Keep squaring off the shoulders, big breath out. Inhale, straighten out the left leg, flex the foot, square off the hips, all the toes point down. Exhale, take the knee to the nose and then step the foot between the hands. Breathe in, right knee taps down, this time chest lift, look up. Exhale, lift both knees and extend, Let head falls heavy, left hip pulls back and towards the midline. Two more times, breathe in, left knee bends, right knee taps down, chest lift, look up. Exhale, extend both legs and fold. One more time here, breathe in, both knees bend, right knee tap down, feel the stretch in the hips here, look up. Exhale, extend both legs and fold. Inhale, left knee bend, find your low lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat. Breathe in, step to plank pose. Breathe out, right knee comes to the mat, spin the, spin the right chin out to the side, feel the left hip to the mat. On your breath in, left arm reaches up. Look up, exhale, left hand reaches forward, pinky fingers bent down, pull the low belly in. Then we're moving into our circles, you'll take the hand down, back, up, and forward. Two more times, reaching down, back, up and forward, down, back, up, making it fluid, and forward all the way to the mat. Step to plank pose on your inhale, both toes tuck. Breathe out, hips go up and back for downward facing dog. So nice, and then from here, breathe in, lift the heels. Breathe out, bend the knees, gaze forward, look between the hands. We're just gonna walk the feet, small steps, one at a time, all the way towards the front of your mat, or to meet up with your hands. And then separate the feet about hip width distance. You can measure it out with two fists between the big toes. And then we'll interlace the hands behind us. Try to take the non-dominant way that you usually interlace the hands. Let the head fall heavy. The hands pull up and overhead. And then maybe you shake the head side to side or nod the head forward and back. Keep taking the hands up and over. Feel the belly on the thighs here. Yeah, taking movement where it feels good. Nice, and then from here, take the hands by the low back, release the fingertips, let the arms hang by the sides. You might grab opposite elbows and take a little bit more movement here, hanging in a rag doll, and then switch the grip, opposite elbow on top. So nice. And then release both elbows, put an even bigger bend in the knees and slowly begin to roll up. No rush at all here, moving extra slow. The head is the last to arrive. And then when you get to the top, you can take a couple shoulder rolls. Maybe you want to roll back or take it forward. Whatever feels nice in the body this evening. So nice. And then on your next breath in, float the arms up once again. Exhale, bring the hands to touch and then reach over towards your right. Gaze goes to the left. Inhale, come back to center, look forward. Exhale, reach the hands over to the left. Gaze goes to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, fold over the leg. Breathe in, half lift, look forward. Maybe the hands come to the shins or the thighs. Find a flat back, shoulders are broad. Exhale, fold over the legs. Breathe in, arms up, gaze up. See the hands touch overhead. Exhale, bring the hands through the center and then stand tall in Tadasana, the palms face forward, feel the big toes touch. Taking that again, breathe in, arms go up. See the hands touch overhead. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, half lift, hands come to the shins or the thighs. Exhale, fold forward, head falls heavy. Breathe in, arms up, gaze up, see the hands touch. Exhale, hands come through heart center, and then stand tall, find Tadasana. Doing a couple standing postures here, breathe in, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, fold over the legs. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, step the left foot back for a low lunge. From here, you're gonna grab your block or your book and place it on the uh, flattest or medium setting here. And then the right hand's gonna press into your block. From here, the left heel's gonna spin down. You might scoot it in an inch or two. The right leg's gonna straighten and then you're gonna peel the left arm up for a triangle pose. Gaze goes up. Same thing with the circling the arm. You're gonna reach the arm forward, palm faces towards the floor, down, back, and up. Two more times, reaching forward, down, back, and up. One more time, forward, down, back, and 
arms up. So nice. And then reach the arm forward, turning the chest towards the floor, finding our low lunge. Once again, you can move the block over to the side. On your inhale, we'll take down dog split, right leg left, up and back behind us. Exhale, place the foot between the hands, find a low lunge. From here, the right arm will reach up, take a twist. Breathe in. Breathe out. Then the hand comes back to the mat. On the next inhale, the right leg will straighten. The left leg will hop in enough so that the heel can ground down. Breathe in for a half lift. Breathe out, line up your sternum with the front leg and fold for pyramid pose. The right hip pulls back in towards the midline so the hips are square and even. You might even take the left hand to the low back to check that it's flat. And let the head fall all the way heavy for one. Two, three, breathe in, half lift, put a little bend in the right knee, breathe out, step the left foot forward and fold, breathe in, arms up, gaze up, see the hands touch, exhale, hand through heart center, stand tall, we'll just take the other side here, breathe in, arms up, breathe out, fold over the leg, inhale, half lift, exhale, step the right foot back behind you, find a low lunge. You'll take the block again and set it up outside the left foot. From here, the right heel spins to the mat. You might scoot in the foot an inch or two. Left hand presses into the block. Straighten out the left leg and then peel the right arm open for a triangle pose. The gaze goes up. From here, we reach the arm forward, palm faces towards the floor, and then continue with our circle so the arm goes down, back, up, forward, down, back, and up one more time reaching forward down back and up take the arm forward and then turn the chest all the way to the mat put a bend in the left knee remove the block to the side right heel spins up breathe in down dog split left leg sweeps up and back behind us exhale place the foot between the hands come back to your low lunge from here press into the right hand left arm reaches up for the twist take a breath in keep straightening out that right leg breath out Hand comes down to the mat. Breathe and straighten out the right or the left leg here. Hop in the right foot and ground the heel down. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, line up the sternum with the front leg and fold. If you have a bend in the left knee, that's totally fine. Just let the head fall heavy. Left hip pulls back. The right hand can come to the low back to check that you're even and square here for one, two, three. Breathe in, half lift, put a little bend in the left knee. Breathe out, right foot steps forward to meet the left and fold. Inhale, arms up, gaze up, see the hands touch. Exhale, hands through heart center, stand tall, find Tadasana. So nice, you guys. And then just step back a couple feet onto your mat. We're gonna separate our feet about mat with distance. Hands come to the waist, breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, fold forward, hands come to the mat. From here, you're gonna turn the toes out and sit the hips low for yogi squat. Malasana pose. The hands will touch in front of the heart and then you'll use the elbows to press the knees apart. This is a lot. You can take your block on the lowest setting or the medium setting or the book and place it underneath the hips for a little extra support. Keep lifting the chest up, keep pressing the knees away from you using the elbows. You might close the eyes here. If this is super easy for you and you could chill and you know, like watch TV or Netflix for several hours in this posture, lift yourself out of it a little bit. Create a little bit more resistance for the body here. It should feel really nice for those of us that are sitting at desk all day. Yeah, and then take the hands to the mat, lift the hips up, and then make sure you parallel the feet on the way and let the head fall heavy. You might put alternating weight on either foot to just release the hips here. So nice. And then from here, we'll bring one knee to the mat and then the other knee. You can sink the hips to one side and spin the legs out in front of you. From here, we'll hug the right knee into the chest and let the knee open to the side. So we're setting up for Janya Shoshasana. The right sole of the foot presses into the left inner thigh. Breathe in to lift the arms. Breathe out. Fold forward over the left leg and let the head fall heavy for one. Keep breathing here with the breath. Two. Three. Breathe in. Just slowly come to sit. And then use the right hand to lift the right knee up. The right sole of the foot presses into the mat. And from here, you're just gonna cross the foot over the leg. The right hand comes back behind you. Breathe.
and left arm lifts up. Lift the chest. Make sure you're sitting up really tall here. Both hips are pressed down. On your exhale, your twist over to the right. Hook the elbow. And then maybe you take the gaze back behind you for one. Two. Keep lengthening the spine on the inhale and keep turning on the exhale for three. Breathe in. Come back to center. Or that you might take a counter twist to the left here. Yeah, and then breathe in, come back to center, breathe out, unhook the foot, and then just extend both legs long. We'll just take the other side here. So breathe in, left knee comes into the chest, and let the left knee open. Press the sole of the foot into the leg. And breathe in, both arms reach up. Find length in the spine, maybe reaching the right arm up, then the left, then the right, and fold forward over the leg, letting the head fall heavy. For one, two, three. Inhale, just use the hands to walk yourself back up to a seat. Left hand lifts the left knee. The left sole of the foot presses into the mat and then cross it over the right leg. From here, the left hand will reach behind you. Breathe in, right arm reaches straight up to the ceiling. Keep finding length in the spine and then exhale, twist to your left. Hook the elbow outside the knee to help you keep turning and then the gaze comes back behind you. For one, keep flexing that right foot. Keep making sure that both hips are pressed down for two. Three. So nice, you guys. And then breathe in. Come back to center. Breathe out. Take a little counter twist to the right. Inhale. Come back to center. Uncross the legs. And then extend both legs long here. Good. And then make sure your block or your book is nearby. From here, we're just going to take the arms forward. Flex the feet. Actually, first we're going to bend both knees and bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Hands come back behind us. Fingertips face forward. Breathe in. Lift the hips up so that they're in line with the knees. Let the head fall back for one, two, three. Slowly lower the hips back down. And then we'll cross up the ankles here and find an easy pose. You might even sit up on a block. Take the hands to the thighs, close the eyes, sit up tall, and we're just going to do a little breathing exercise here, something that you can take with you outside in class, and might try this during the middle of the day as well. You're just going to breathe in and out on my count. So wherever you are with the breath, exhale everything out. And then breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. Four. Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. Keep going on your own lengthening out and making equal each inhale and each exhale. You might even add an extra count on either side. Take one more round and flutter the eyes open. Lift the hips up to remove the block. Now we'll take the legs long on the mat. The arms will reach forward and you'll use the belly to curl the spine and slowly roll all the way down to your back. You'll grab a block, so yeah, take that with you, and then bend both knees, bring the soles of the feet to the mat. You'll lift the hips up just enough so that you can slide the block on its flattest setting underneath the sacrum or the low back. And then the arms extend long here, and the legs are gonna lift up towards the ceiling or the sky. And we're just gonna allow the body to cool itself down Assuming that most of our jobs require us to sit or stand for most of the day, this is a great way to reduce swelling in the feet, to get fresh blood into the heart. And then once we bring our legs back down, we'll have fresh blood in the feet and the legs as well. It's a really nice restorative pose you can always do even in bed at night, you can put the feet up the headboard. It's really nice. If you want to close the eyes here, that might be nice. 
just allowing the body to cool down. And then bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet back to the mat. Lift the hips up enough so you can remove the block. So the low back comes back to the mat. Keep the low back pressing and then bring the knees in towards the chest. Find a happy baby pose. So the hands will reach inside the knees and grab the outer edges of the foot. And then you can take movement side to side here if that feels good. Yeah, nice. And then take the feet to the mat. You'll take the feet a tad wider than the hips. And then you'll keep the feet where they are and just let the knees fall over to the left. The gaze will come to the right. You can tee the arms. If you don't have room to spread the arms wide, you can cactus just by bending at the elbows. And then you might take the left heel and stack it on top of the right knee to just pull that right knee a little bit more down towards the mat, just suggesting slightly more intense twist. So nice. And then Bring the knees back to center and then let them fall over towards the right. Same thing, you can hook the right heel over the left knee to pull that left knee down towards the mat. The gaze is going to go towards the left. Eyes can stay closed. And then bring both knees up, soles of the feet to the mat, and then hug the knees in towards the chest. Maybe bringing the forehead all the way to the knees or the eye sockets to the knees. Squeezing in and then releasing everything for Shavasana. So the legs can come long on the mat. The arms can come away from the bodies. Make sure that your block is moved away from you so that you're not touching anything unnecessarily. Sometimes a block or your book on the pelvis or belly is nice here. And then close the eyes. Allow your body to be heavy on your mat. And allow yourself to fully surrender, to fully relax in our final resting pose of Shavasana. Take the arms up and overhead for a big stretch. You can even point the toes, lengthening out the body here. Taking the head to the right and then the left. And then bend both knees, bringing the soles of the feet to the mat. Let the knees fall to the left side and then allow that to pull the torso with it so you're finding a fetal position using the arms as pillows on your left side. Just staying here for a moment and then press into the hands to push the torso all the way up. You'll find a seat, maybe you sit in, you're sitting up on the block or your book. And then once you've chosen a seat, find some stillness, let the hands rest on the thighs, sit up tall, and just feel the hips pressing down into your block, book, or the floor. Feel the chest lifting, the shoulders are broad, the back of the neck is long, the crown of the head reaches up take one more moment to observe the sensations in the body, the mind, and the breath. Knowing that your time spent on the mat here has contributed to an open body, even steady breath, and a clear mind. 
for you to move into your night with peace and calmness, releasing whatever came your way earlier today. And then take the hands to touch in front of the heart. Put a little tuck in the chin. And have gratitude for the teachings of yoga. Namaste, yogis. So thank you so much for joining me in class today. So nice to have you. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you're feeling a lot better um, for the rest of your evening. If you like this class, please comment below um, about what you liked about it or other things that you would love to do in class. I'd also love to hear what you all do for a living. Um, and we can do more of these types of classes that are catered exactly to how you're spending your days. All of these classes are free and I, I want to bring yoga to as many people as I can. But if you enjoy them and you'd like to contribute and support me, you can donate um, at a link below. So thank you so much again. It's so nice to have you and so much nice to practice together, um, even if it is digitally and online. I hope you